It's Sensory Awareness Month and we've been talking about how you feel and the mechanisms of how you feel and how that changes everything. Through the lifespan, sensory processing takes different shapes as it develops. And it's really important that we understand the impact of sensory processing all the way through adult life. Sensory processing underlies so much of health and wellness and how we feel and how we feel our bodies and our bodies in space and are able to organize ourselves to respond to the environment impacts all of human development. And if we want to be autonomous, competent, um, interested in learning, able to have a sense of purpose, um, socially engaged, caring, altruistic people, it all starts with sensory processing. It's so important for human development and those really are the goals we want for our young people, for our students, for our university students, for our workforce. We call it flourishing or um, psychological well-being and we really believe that it starts with sensory processing. In infancy, you're pretty much consumed with sensory processing as you learn to be calm in the world and be regulated through different sensory experiences. Everything is novel and new. And those sensory experiences of touch and taste and smell are how you form your first relationships. In infancy and early childhood, it's almost impossible to have a sensory experience that isn't also an emotional or affective experience. And much of our development is sensory affective. It's entirely sensory and entirely emotional. So our mental health is wrapped up in sensory processing. And so is that sense of who we are and that sense of self and that sense of autonomy. When we're learning to sit upright, it takes a lot of effort. That posture, postural, posture coming online and postural strength and engagement, that's sensory, that's about sensory processing. We need to have well-functioning sensory systems in order to sit up and organize our eyes in space. Really, really key skill for classroom success. And so when we push some of our young people too fast, too soon, or postures a little bit slower, then we need to slow down and take some time before we're expecting them to look up at the board and look up at the teacher and so on. Think about all of the experiences in the playground and the cafeteria where you're being jostled and you're moving around. As we learn in, in, in middle childhood to move around dynamic environments with lots of unpredictable moving pieces, we need to be able to organize ourselves in space and time. And that requires really quite refined sensory processing. That ability to stop, go, adjust, and change our plan. That ability to use just enough force and pressure. That's all sensory processing. And then as we get into middle school and we have to organize a locker full of stuff and a bag and a planner, and we have to be goal oriented through the week, there's a lot of sensory processing that underlies those skills. I need to be able to sequence events. I need to be able to understand time. I need to be able to organize myself and stay calm under pressure. And then of course, I wanna play sports and team sports with my friends. And I need to be able to coordinate my body and different speeds and the two sides of my body to work well together and in a refined way, sensory processing, all of it. It's the mechanism of how we feel and how we feel changes everything and it sets us up for success. We can also be dealing with sensory processing at any stage in the way that we are able to cope with how bright the lights are, how strong the smells are, or respond to things on time and filter out things that aren't important. There's so much about sensory processing that happens in an airport. When you have to get yourself on that plane, organize your bag and get it in the overhead locker and, and rotate it in space and fit it in, that's sensory processing. All of these pieces all the way through life that go back to the airport and grabbing your bag in time to get it off the luggage belt and navigating your way through a group of people, that's sensory processing. Sensory processing is critical to our ability to be um, well grounded, calm, available for relationships, to be able to function and participate in many aspects of daily life. It is a really important domain of health and wellness and we hope that by bringing awareness of sensory to you that you will be able to explore it for yourself and level up in how you are able to do self-care this week.